Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV and today I'm going to show you how to send ASIO audio from any source that can host a VST to OBS. You need nothing fancy for OBS. You don't need any special ASIO add-ons or anything. All you need is this VST and you could send this from anything that can host a VST to another thing. You could send audio over a network. You could send MIDI over a network and turn an external computer into an additional processing device that you could send MIDI to. It can generate, you know, maybe you have another copy of your dot open and it can send the audio back. I mean, the doors are open. I am extremely excited about this plugin. So it is called Connector by Blue Cat Audio. This is what it is. It's a very, very simple plugin. So there is the ability to send and you have a couple options. So app is when you send audio to inside the same application. So if you'd like to just send audio and pick up audio at different points, you can do that within the same application. Local host means that it is different software, but it's on the same computer. That's what we're going to look at. And then we're also going to look at network, which is going to send the audio or in the MIDI over the network. So this is just like so, so cool because then you can send the audio back and you can just open up as many as you need over different ports and you can essentially turn extra computers into audio processing that is usable. So this is this is great. It's so it's just so available. So what we're going to do is let's go to localhost first. First thing I promised was to show you how do you get ASIO audio into OBS without any of the special fancy stuff. Uh, and having to deal with this mess of drivers because traditionally I've actually taken actual cables out of my audio interface, cloned some outputs, and then put them back into the audio interface. So, okay, we've got this. I'm going to name it, um, you know, DAW Audio and spell audio correctly. So this is DAW Audio and it's trying to connect right now. There's nothing on this port, which is why nothing's happening. And I've got two instances of OBS because one I am recording on, which is on a second monitor. And this is one I'm not recording on just so that I have a way to record this. So, okay, here we are. We can see my voice audio and this is the hard patched cables from my audio interface. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to add an audio input capture. So I have this special ASIO option. You don't need this anymore. And you don't need to mess with any other software like virtual cable or virtual uh, cable banana. I, I can't remember, oh, voice meter banana, that's what it's called. You don't need to mess with any of that. You can just go to audio input capture, just the standard built-in thing. We'll name it something. We will name it, um, you know, uh, DAW audio or stream audio, whatever. And we're gonna go ahead and name it. You will need to have a dummy device that you're just not using. So if you have a capture input, if not, you can download uh, the virtual audio cable for free and it will provide you just a dummy output. So you, you might need to use that if you intend to do this and you hit okay. Now for this next part here, so we see the dot audio channel, we need to have the VST, just regular old VST version installed. I don't believe OBS supports VST3 at the time. And so and if you install VST3, you also need regular VST and you have to take a couple files to some specific spots. So on my computer, VSTs are by default installed into program files, VST plugins. And we're gonna come in here and we're gonna find it. So there's a blue cat connector folder. You're gonna need this. And you're also going to need the actual DLL. That's the plugin itself. And so that is right here. So you can just hold control to select them both when you click on them. And then, you know, you copy them and then bring them on over to the OBS folder and the same program file directory. And in OBS, there's a plugins. And you see here in plugins, I've put that data folder and I also put the, uh, the DLL. So again, it needs to be just the regular VST version. So with all that stuff sorted, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and come to the DAW audio channel that we have, and we are going to click the cog and go to filters. And inside of filters, we are going to add the VST 2.0. So we're going to name it to, you know, this is going to be DAW audio coming in. So that's what we'll call it. We we'll hit OK. And then we're going to select the plugin. Now I have a bunch of plugins, so they all show up here, but we just want to do the one that we added, which is the connector VST. We're going to go ahead and open it. So we want this module to receive what this one's sending out. So we're going to click receive. And then right now it's on app. So it's looking inside of OBS for like other instances of this, where we wanted to look over the local host. We wanted to look at all the software. So we're going to go ahead and check that and it connects. 
And I've noticed that auto tends to be this sort of like back and forth thing. So just increase the buffering a little bit and it will stabilize that like right out. Now the trade-off of increasing the buffering is you get a little bit more latency. We can see here that we have 43.3 milliseconds of latency, uh, which really isn't a big deal. But if you want to, you could go in and fiddle with settings and try and really optimize that. But with that, we are now receiving audio. So we're going to close these things. And when I play it, you'll see the audio come through, the computer audio, and also the dot audio. So I've got a kick drum here. And remember, this is just on the master channel. So this is just sending out whatever I, I put through FL. So I've got a kick drum. We will go ahead, open it up. You can see dot audio. It's got it right there. And then this is lower because I have it being scaled by preamps on my audio interface. So cables, like physical amplifiers and stuff, where this is just going straight to FL Studio. So this is like completely fantastic. Like what you could, this is just one of the things you could do. Like suddenly it's so easy to get ASIO audio performance and let OBS do whatever it wants to do. And it's like not an issue anymore. This is incredible. So there's a, uh, how do you get audio from the DAW to OBS? Now you could do this over a network. So what you could do is, and I, I have tried this, it's just, um, it's kind of complicated to, to film it. I, I guess I could use my phone or whatever. But if we go to network, you can give it the the IP or host name of your machine. And if you're unsure how to do that, you could open up the command prompt and then type in like IP config with no spaces. And it will give you, I believe it's the IPv4 address is the one you want. That'll be the IP of that particular machine. Or you could, um, you could also do this. If you go to the properties on, open up a, a file explorer, explorer and right click on this PC and then go to properties and you will get the name of your computer. So my, this one's just called composing gloves. But the other computer I have has this like crazy name cause I never had it renamed. I never changed it. So it's got like all these letters and numbers and you would just put that here instead of the IP. And that will also work so long as the computers are connected over the same network. Now I have everything going to a box. So they're all hardwired together over a network because I actually record typically on that second computer anyway. So this is like extra fantastic for that uh, particular situation. But that's how you would do it. And it is literally just as fast and just as easy. The only extra step is you just add the IP to where you want it to go and then it just it just works like it's incredible i absolutely love this i can't believe it has not existed until now this is by far the most straightforward solution the only caveat with something like this is you need a way to get vsts into the application if you can do that this is incredible give it a shot let me know what you think hit that bell icon and subscribe for more videos and have a blessed day I'm sick. 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 I'm s